Hey guys, welcome back to Paradise. Today we got another wildflower to show you here. We are down in Arizona and it is about the middle of March and the flower we're looking at today is called a fiddle neck, not to be confused with fiddle backs. Fiddle backs are just the fronds of the ferns that we actually made a video of that are edible up in the Pacific Northwest. Those are just curled up little uh, ferns that haven't unfurled yet. So these are called fiddle necks. And they're also called the rancher's fireweed because they grow like crazy. And if you know fireweed, fireweed just grows in really disturbed areas when there's fires. That usually kind of takes over. Same with this one. It has lots of seeds in it. So it takes over uh, wide ranges of, uh, of land that has been disturbed. So let's take a closer look at it. All right, guys, and here we go. This is a fiddle neck. As you can see here, the end looks like the end of a fiddle. So that's where it gets its name from. So this is actually a native plant to the uh, southwest and it is an annual and it usually is pretty tall it's about uh, 8 to 20 inches tall or 20 to 120 centimeters it's always going to be yellow sometimes it has orange as you can see if you can see inside there there's a little bit of orange on the inside of the flowers it keeps moving and the phone doesn't like to focus so I'll put a picture on the screen of it um, but they have uh, these prickly hairs on them, so that's a really good way to define them. And if you see them in like sunset or sunrise, they look like they're glowing. So they're very, very hairy. The reason that the plant is so hairy is that they actually that the leaves contain cytoliths, which are plant cells that contain deposits of calcium carbonate and silicon dioxide, and that comes from the soil. So it actually helps protect the plant from leaf-eating insects. So uh, it actually does uh, uh, good for the plant here so it protects the plant and it also is known to give uh, humans rashes and makes them itch so definitely not a plant you want to touch too much and this is actually poisonous to grazing uh, animals like cows and horses so that's why the ranchers don't like it too much so some of the easiest ways to identify it is definitely just going to be that fiddle neck shape there at the top it's gonna have the hairy uh, white uh, hairs all the way up and down the whole spine or whole stem of the plant and on the, the leaves itself the leaves, as you can see, they're all alternate. So there's one on that side and one on this side and one on that side. It goes all the way down the whole plant there. And they're usually pretty uh, lance shape like that and they just come to a point. So definitely a pretty easy plant to identify in the wilderness. And like I said, this is usually one of the first plants to bloom in the, actually sometimes it blooms in the winter or early spring. So there's that one, which is yellow, not to be confused with another yellow one that is usually coming out at the same time. Let's see. Just this little guy right here, which is four leaves. This is a bladder pod mustard. So those two will usually come out first and they'll kind of carpet the whole floor. So don't confuse it with that. And the uh, Mexican uh, golden poppy will be out also, but poppies definitely do not look anything like these ones. So there are actually lots of other varieties of fiddle necks. This is just a specific one. So there's a lot of different ones in this family. They're usually all found below about 4,000 feet. They are edible. It doesn't seem like a lot of people like to eat it these days just because of the hairs and everything on them. So they mostly just leave them alone, but the natives did eat a lot of the plant and they used it uh, for just medicinal purposes as well. So a lot of people out there are thinking that this is more of a weed just because obviously the ranchers can't use it to uh, feed their livestock, but it actually has lots of benefits. The, uh, it's, the seeds are favorited by the goldfinch, the birds out here and they are also really good for honeybees. The honeybees really like to pollinate the fiddle necks. So definitely a good plant to have around because we're having a lot of issues with uh, the honeybees right now. We need all the plants that we can get to uh, that need pollinated. So. And also the leaves are actually used by the larvae of the uh, painted lady butterfly. So lots of good uses. Just because it can't be used by humans doesn't mean that it's not a uh, worthwhile to have around so definitely a beautiful flower once they all bloom they bloom in huge bunches so all these here are fiddle necks so they're all over the place and as i said if you can see there when the sun's kind of shining on it it looks like it glows it makes a really cool really cool picture if your phone can focus so there you have it guys fiddle necks hopefully you guys enjoyed that video hopefully you learned something i thought it was pretty cool just the uh the plant itself looks cool and the fact that it has the the hairs on it that fight against the uh, the leaf biting insects I thought was pretty neat. Um, yeah, it's just a beautiful flower that comes up early in the spring. So definitely get out there and try to find some yourself. They're definitely abundant out here in the uh, in the wilderness. I don't know how abundant they are in the city, but they, like I said, they think they're weeds in the city. So out here you can definitely find them all over the place. That and the uh, the bladder pod and 
the poppies are definitely out in early spring. So those are definitely going to be some of the first ones to sprout. So hope you guys learned something again, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.